Today, we are going to be looking at this platform called BotPress that lets you create customer facing bots powered by ChatGPT. The bots that you can create in BotPress can not only talk to your customers, but can also take actions because of a large number of integrations that are available within BotPress. It's a very mature platform and that's why it's used by thousands of different organizations. And they are the sponsor of today's video. In this video, we are going to explore the platform and I'll also show you how to create a customer facing chatbot with custom knowledge. To get started for free, simply sign up. Okay, so here is how the basic flow of the chatbot is going to look like. And I'll show you how to recreate this in BotPress. First, the bot will say hi to the user. And then it would ask the user, what would you like to know? Then it will get the user question and check a custom knowledge base. If the answer is present in the custom knowledge base, then it will ask the user, do you have any further question? If the user says yes, then it will go back and follow the same pattern. Now, if the uh, answer is not present in the knowledge base, so we're going to follow this path. In that case, the bot is going to tell the user that it doesn't know the answer, but still will ask the user, if they have any further questions, so if they have the, any further questions, it's going to follow this flow. But in case if uh, the user says they don't have any further questions, then it's going to end the conversation. Now, using this simple bot, I'm going to introduce you to different concepts within BotPress. You can simply replace this knowledge base with your own knowledge base and you can reuse this chatbot. Okay, so once you sign up, you're going to see an interface like this. Click on this create chatbot. Okay, so you're going to see this message. Congratulations, you just created a new chatbot. So simply click on edit. Okay, so here you're presented with another page. So here you can use different templates, but what we're going to do is we are going to start from scratch. So simply click on this and then click on use template. Okay, so this is the first page that you're gonna see. Now, since we are beginning from absolutely scratch, so I'm gonna simply select this and delete it. Okay, and I'm going to also delete this node as well. Let's confirm it. All right, so in the beginning, you're going to have a start node and an end node. Let's start building our chatbot, and I'm going to introduce you to different components as we move along. Now, there are three different concepts that you need to understand. The first one is the concept of a node, then that of a card, and the last one is expression. And we are going to cover all of these in this tutorial. So let's go back to our original flow. The first thing that we need is a mechanism to greet a user. Now in order to do that, we need to add a node. That is the atomic component in BotPress. In order to do that, simply right click anywhere and then select standard node. Now it's a good practice to give name to your node. So I'm going to call it greeting. Now we want to show a message to the user. So for that, we're going to be using a card and a card has different options. So for example, we can simply add a text card or you can add an image video or you can also execute code and so on and so forth. We are going to look at some of these options in this tutorial. Now, since we added a text card, if you click on this, now you have the ability to send a message. Okay, so let's say this is the message that we want to display at the start of the conversation. And the message is, hi, my name is Sam and I'm a helpful bot. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to simply connect the start node to this greeting node. Now we need to add another card and that is going to be an expression card in here. Now the expression is basically a place where you can add a mathematical expression if you want. So in this case, if you see, it says always, and you can change this label to whatever you want. Uh, and the condition is basically true. So whenever uh, somebody comes into this card or this node, actually, then uh, this expression is going to be always true. Basically, that means that at the start of the conversation, you're going to be always showing this message. Next, we actually want to uh, get a question from the user and check whether the answer is present in our knowledge base. 
Now, in order to do that, we are going to be using yet another standard node. So I'm going to click again uh, and then select a standard node. So I'm going to call this user query. Okay, so we simply need to connect the output of this always uh, card on the greeting node to the input of the user query uh, node. So that means we are going to be transitioning from the greeting node to the user query node. Okay, next we need a mechanism to get the user question or query, right? So we need to get user question. So for that, we're going to add another card. So simply click on the card. Now, if you come to this section on capture information, you have a number of different options. So for example, you have a single choice, Boolean, multiple choice, right? But what we want to do is we want to get raw input text from the user. So I'm going to simply add that in here. And now you can uh, ask a question to the user in this section. Okay, so whenever we transition in here, we are going to show a message to the user and that's going to say, what would you like to know today? Now here again, the type of value to extract is simply raw input text. Now you can also uh, create a variable for it if you want. So let's call it question. Okay, and now instead of raw input, you're going to see this label called question. Okay, so we got the user question, but how do we actually answer it? So if you go back to our uh, flow diagram, so here we need custom knowledge base. Now, in order to add custom knowledge base in BotPress, all you need to do is come click on this flows. Now here you have uh, multiple different options. So you can either add a table or add different folders or add knowledge base. So I'm gonna click on add knowledge base. Now, if you click on this, you can add different formats of documents, web pages, or it can also do automatic uh, web search for you, or you can add text documents. So in this case, what we're going to do is we are going to add web page. So we're going to be creating a knowledge base based on some web pages. So there are two options. Either you can add URLs and they're supposed to be separated by new lines. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Or if you actually want to go ahead and let's say create a knowledge base based on a whole website, then you will need to uh, add a sitemap. So for example, if you are working with the BotPress website, and then you can simply type slash sitemap.xml and that will capture all the web pages that are connected uh, to that uh, URL. Okay, but we are going to be going with the first option. So let's add some URLs in here. Okay, so just to keep things very simple, what I did was I went ahead and uh, grabbed some blog posts on botpress.com and just added a few URLs in here. Next, we need to simply confirm this. So let's hit confirm. Now it will start indexing uh, all the URLs. Okay, so it created an index for all the text that is present on the URLs that we provided. So let's close this. Okay, now here's the best part. You can see with each URL, uh, for example, it says 15 vectors, six vectors, one vector, one vector, right? So if you click on this, you see a chunk that was created uh, from the URL. So here's uh, this specific web page had only one chunk. Uh, if you go here, so you're gonna see this chunk, right? Uh, so that's a separate chunk. Here is another chunk that was created. So it seems like it's creating a vector embedding and everything. Now on the right hand side, you can see your storage quota. So for example, in this specific case, you have access to 5,000 vector stores, which is around 1,000 uh, PDF pages. So for a uh, free tier, I think it's a very generous. Okay, so we are done with creating our uh, knowledge base. Now the question is, how do you connect it to this node? Now for that, you simply need to click on this node and you will see this option, change agent configuration for node. And there is this enable knowledge answering. You might not be able to see this button, but when I switch it, so it turned blue and also you will see this book icon, right? So basically whatever knowledge bases are present uh, in this uh, project, it will now have access to that, right? So let's say if we turn it off, we don't have, uh, we're not using any knowledge base at all and now we're using a knowledge base again.
now going back to uh, our flowchart so there are two possibilities when somebody asks a question the answer is either present in the knowledge base or not present right so we need to take care of these two possibilities in uh, this specific node now first we'll look at the case where there is no answer present in the knowledge base so for that we'll need to add another card in here and that is going to be an expression because we are performing an operation I'm going to say turn dot knowledge agent dot responded right so I want to see whether the knowledge agent has responded or not in this case I want to specifically say that it hasn't responded so that is the first condition and the second condition or expression is going to be uh, when we do get a response so we'll simply set this to true okay so again uh, we have two different uh, outcomes when we have an answer from the bot or the knowledge base and the second um, scenario is that we don't have an answer now what further step we need to take based on the outcome now if we go back uh, if we don't find the answer in the knowledge base we need to tell the user that we don't have the answer so let's create another node and let's call this an uh, error node and we are going to add a text box in here so basically this is the text that the user is going to see okay so we're going to simply show this message sorry i'm not able to answer uh based on my knowledge base and what we need to do is we need to connect uh this node to the error node when we don't have the answer from the knowledge base now when we show this message to the user we also want to check whether the user wants to and ask another question or not right so what we need to do is we need to add another expression and that's basically an operation that we will always perform uh, after showing this that why, that's why the value is true right and that is going to be to check with the user whether they want to ask another question okay so we need to have another node that will check with the user whether they want to ask another question or not so let's call it further uh, questions uh, this node is going to have two outcomes yes or no right so we want to show the user uh, a boolean uh, options so basically either they can select yes or no okay so we're going to add text in here and we'll simply say do you have any further questions right and the options that you have is yes and no right uh, and you can actually see them in here uh, so there is one option yes and the other one is no so what we need to do right now is we need to simply connect it this one in here uh, so irrespective of whether we find an answer in the knowledge base or not it will still ask this question whether uh, the user want to ask another question or not similarly if we show an answer to the user we again want to check with them whether they want to ask further questions now there are two possible outcomes if this user says no just finish the conversation and if they say yes then uh, let the user ask a question and follow uh, this path now in order to do that but now we are going to connect this to the end that will basically end the conversation but if the answer is yes we actually need to go back and connect it, uh, this in here to the user query okay so that basically completes the flow of what we want in here so let's see if this bot works or not. So for that, we're going to be using the provided emulator. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, drag it up here and let's say uh, hi. Okay, so we get a response from the uh, bot. It says, hi, my name is Sam. I'm a helpful bot. So this is basically, and there are some uh, debugging uh, responses as well. So which is pretty good to see, right? So basically when I clicked on it, it highlighted that uh, the answer is coming from this specific node then after that it automatically transitions to this user query node and simply shows me what would you like to know so as you can see it's amazing for debugging as well so let's ask a subsequent question so i'm going to say what is bot press okay so here's the response that i get bot press is a cutting edge chatbot builder powered by gpt 3.5 so this is basically coming from the knowledge base and you can actually see uh, where uh, we are in terms of the conversation now right? and that is basically uh, checking with us whether we have any further questions or not right so you see these two options yes and no if i say yes 
right? Then it shows me again this message. What would you like to know? And if I click on this, here is the uh, the point or node in which it's simply checking uh, with the user again. Okay, so let's ask something that the bot doesn't have any information about. So I'm going to ask it, what is LangChain? And let's see what it uh, comes up with. So it says, sorry, I'm not able to answer based on my knowledge base. And then again, it asks me whether I want to um, continue the conversation or not. So I'm going to say no. And that should end uh, the conversation. And that's why you see variable captured, right? So knowledge base disabled, no content match, and then conversation ended. Now, let's say you created this chatbot and now you want to expose this to uh, people over the internet, right? So you can integrate this as a part of your uh, website or it has other integrations. For example, you can add this to uh, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, and so on and so forth. But I'm going to show you a very simple way of doing it. Uh, so for that, simply click on this publish chatbot. Okay, so once the process is complete, you can click on this share button and that will basically open another window where your chatbot is ready. So let's say if you are working with a client and you are creating a chatbot for them, you can simply copy this link and provide them with the link and they will be able to test out the chatbot. Now, just like the emulator, you can actually have a very similar conversation with the bot in here as well. Uh, so I was asking some questions, but let's say, uh, I'm going to say yes. And let's ask it, what is BERT? Now I was looking at one of the blog posts. So here they have information regarding BERT and that's why, uh, it's able to actually extract that information. Now, this was a very simple chatbot. This can be improved a lot by adding the more advanced functionality and BotPress provides a lot of different integrations. So you can actually collect data write those and do a lot of automations within the platform itself. Again, thanks uh, to BotPress for sponsoring this video. And let me know if you'll be interested in more videos on this platform. Do check out BotPress. It's a very powerful platform where you can create customer facing chatbots. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. And as always, see you in the next one.